Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd do a brief video on the new Archbang Linux. Now I uh, went through the install. Let me go over a little bit of that with you. Um, if I take a look at DistroWatch, you'll see that uh, Archbang was listed as having a new release as of March 1st. So I paid a visit to the website and I downloaded the latest release. <clears throat> uh, I burned it to a USB using the DD command. If you need some assistance on using the DD command uh, in Linux uh, in a terminal, I did a video showing how to do that. If you go to my uh, channel and search in the video section for DD you will find that video and that will walk you through how to create a USB using the DD command. Now I would not recommend Archbang for your first venture into Linux. Um, it is it's a simplified Arch install, but you still need to know your way around the uh, terminal in order to finish the uh, installation. Um, but that being said, if you're not new to Arch, then you'll have no problem with it. Now, when I did the installation, um, I had just a couple of issues. Um, the first thing you want to make sure you do when you boot into the USB, <clears throat> you will have to mount your um, you will have to mount your uh, petition. And I recommend that you create your uh, Archbang petition ahead of time. And so when you boot into that USB, um, you will right click the desktop and there'll be an install option. But before you go to the install, open up a terminal, make sure you know what petition you plan on installing Archbang to, and you're going to mount it. Now, the mounting of Archbang is the same as if you were doing an Arch install. So you're going to basically, now also I recommend that you not only create that petition, but that you format it into the, an ext4 file system. So that way you've got your petition set up. Now when you first boot into Archbang, as I said, you need to mount that petition or the install will not begin. So what you'll need to do, you'll need to type in mount space forward slash dev and the petition that you Created. Now, in my case, it was SDC2, but you're going to put your petition uh, designation in there. Then you're going to put a space slash MNT. So it's very easy. Mount space forward slash DEV forward slash S and then the, the petition that you created followed by a space forward slash MNT. Press enter. Then you will right click again, select install from the, men the open box menu and the install will begin. And then you'll just need to follow along with the install. Now when you finish, you will need to do a little bit of work. What I had to do is I had to uh, go into my pacman.conf c-o-n-f you need to set up your uh, repos you need to add yaourt and 
say then save the changes then you will need to uh, refresh your Pac-Man keys because the keys and the proper key signatures are critical for being able to um, pull in packages. So you will need to make sure your Pac-Man configuration file is correct. You will need to uh, validate all of the keys and then you will need to uncomment uh, the your correct entries from your mirror list so you will have to go into your mirror list file and uncomment all of the entries for your country so I had to go in and uncomment all of the United States entries now once you do that you will be able to um, update your system in the command line um, and and you'll be able to pull in packages now so once you do that this is what you'll be looking at once you finish the install now you when you finish the install and you boot into your installed uh, operating system for Archbang that's when you'll need to go in and modify your pacman.conf your mirror list and refresh your Pac-Man keys. So you're going to do that after your after the install when you're booted into your operating system. Now the other thing that uh, I, I had an issue with was I wanted to install I, I didn't want to install Grub during the install. I didn't need to install Grub. However when I booted and I ran OS Prober and update Grub from my Linux Lite <clears throat> installation. It found the Arch Bang install, but it wouldn't boot. Got error messages when I selected it. So then I went through the install procedure again and in my case, what worked is <clears throat> when you get to the to the uh, grub install section of the installation, uh, I selected. You have a choice of automatic and manual. I ch I selected uh, automatic, and that worked for me. Uh, I was able to boot into Archbang. So this is what you see when you. Uh, finish the installation now as you can see I have gone in and I've added PAMAC AUR so I can update my system I added caffeine I added synapse clip it redshift for some reason when I modified my startup file my open box startup configuration file I ended up with two network uh, entries in my panel. So I'm going to have to find out what happened there. But everything else is working. Um, I do have my NVIDIA installed. However, I'm not seeing the NVIDIA settings in my um, menu. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to open up NVIDIA settings. As you can see, I have the 361.28 driver installed. That is the latest. Um, and so let's see if it's now showing in my list of applications I still do not see it so if I need to open up Nvidia settings I'll need to do it from the command line but as you can see I've got 361.28 and OpenGL um, no problems at all 
everything is running fine so I haven't done a whole lot to it what you see is what you're gonna get now I did add uh, there is a uh, for file management it's they're using space FM and I like it but it's from from what I see it's got a few limitations so I uh, installed PC man FM and uh, that shows under system tools and now it comes preloaded with a, a very nice dark theme uh, no problems at all with the configuration visually it, it works fine as you can see I've got icons on some of my menu entries um, I'm gonna have to figure out the menu configuration uh, but that's not a biggie right now everything else is running fine um, as you can see I've added quite a few uh, programs with no issues I've got Banshee, Kodi, OBS, OpenShot, Pulse Audio, Volume Control, SM Player, GUVC View I have uh, Google Chrome comes with Firefox out of the box I installed Google Chrome, Ice, I installed Steam, Shotwell, Play on Linux, uh, Caffeine, Cherry Tree, Clip It, Redshift, I installed Gnome Screenshot, Synapse, and Compton. And so everything's working fine. I really like it because it's uh, simple, it's a minimal install, uh, doesn't use a whole lot of resources everything is very nice it's got a very informative con key shows you your cpu usage your ram shows you your system host name uptime uh the top processes for cpu consumption and then it has a nice list of shortcut keys so there are keys configured already uh as shortcuts and that's a big help having those right there in front of you as part of the conkey so guys that is it for this particular install if you have any questions uh, post the post in the comments and I'll see if I can help you uh, with some of some of the configuration that needs to be done as I mentioned there is a little bit of configuration that needs to be done after the install so guys please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care